Thanks for joining me today for this update on how Oracle is bringing AI to your data. For most of us, our first experience with AI was ChatGPT, which appeared in 2022. We understand the benefits of generative AI for personal use, such as helping our kids with their homework or doing some personal research. However, the implications and opportunities for using it in business are not so clear. But over the next 20 minutes, I plan to share precisely when and where this transformative technology and other AI capabilities we're embedding in our data platform can help your business open up a world of new opportunities. Imagine being able to generate value from all of your data, regardless of its format or where it's located, or being able to have a conversation with your database, not only to retrieve the data you need for your business, but also to answer questions you didn't even think were possible. Here at Oracle, we're working hard to make all of these what ifs a reality by embedding AI capabilities directly where your data lives, inside Oracle Database 23AI. One of the most important capabilities we've added is AI Vector Search. Oracle AI Vector Search can help us extract value from all of our data assets. Let's dive in and see how it works. Now, traditionally, databases have been great at storing and retrieving structured business data, which is stored in things like strings and numbers and dates. And these databases allow us to easily ask questions like what revenue did we make from our best-selling product last quarter? However, enterprises are facing an ever-increasing volume of unstructured data, such as documents, images, videos, which databases traditionally have not been so good at querying. And the reason for that is because these new types of data need to be searched based on their semantic content rather than the bytes or pixels that make them up. So for example, we might try and answer questions like, find me products on our online store that match this photo or product description. This is where AI Vector Search is gonna come in. AI Vector Search is a new breakthrough technology that helps find documents, images, or other unstructured data based on its semantic content or its meaning rather than on the words or pixels that make it up. So how does it work? The unstructured data is converted into vectors. Now a vector is just an array of numbers and each number is called a dimension. Each dimension represents a different attribute of that unstructured data. And users can easily create these vectors by passing the unstructured data to our built-in vectorization functions or embedding functions. Once the vector is created, it can easily be stored inside the database. And we can then use mathematical distance functions to measure the distance between the vectors to find similarly semantic content. Vectors that are closer together are similar, while vectors that are further away are not similar. Let's take a look at how we can use AI Vector Search in a real-world application. Imagine we've been asked to create a new house hunting app that allows users to upload a picture of a house they really like. The app will then find them similar-looking homes for sale in their preferred neighborhood and in their given price range. To find the perfect match, the app will have to do similarity search on that house image, along with business data search to find the customer's preferred neighborhood, price range, and all the homes for sale in that neighborhood. Oracle Database 23AI makes this incredibly easy. Let me show you how. The first thing the app needs to do is to convert the image the user uploaded to a vector. The vector that we would create would contain attributes or features about that house, and those features would be captured as dimensions inside the vector. The type of things we would perhaps capture would be what type of roof the house has, the decorations on the house, the number of stories the house has, and the building materials used in that house. Now, what I'm showing you is a rather simplistic case. In reality, vectors are actually generated using machine learning models, and they typically generate vectors that have hundreds, if not thousands of dimensions but you get the idea. Vectors have also been created for all of the images we have of houses for sale. And those vectors are stored inside the house for sales table, along with all the other metadata we have about those houses. For example, what city they're located in, what their sales price is, etc. So now that we have the vector information, how about finding a good match? 
Well, that is incredibly easy with Oracle Database 23 AI because I just need to use six simple lines of SQL to find the top 10 matching homes in our customer's preferred city and in their price range. And I do it by combining semantic picture search with searches on business data. The only new thing in the SQL statement is the vector distance function in the order by clause, which is actually doing the similarity search. Now you may be wondering why the similarity search or the vector search function is in the order by clause and not in the where clause. Let me explain. When we do similarity search, we use a mathematical function to measure the distance between the vector for the picture of the house that was uploaded and comparing it to all the vectors of the houses for sale in the table. By putting the vector distance function in the order by clause, we'll return an ordered list of the vectors in the table with the closest vector first. That is the house that's most similar to the picture we uploaded. Now we don't want to return all of the rows in the table, so we only want the top 10 closest vectors, which is why you see the fetch first 10 rows only at the end of the query. Adding vector search to your business data allows Oracle to automatically keep the vectors and relational data transactionally consistent, giving you a simple integrated solution. Along with the new data type and the vector distance function, Oracle has also introduced new vector indexes to accelerate your similarity search. Oracle AI Vector Search is already powering new capabilities in existing apps, as well as inspiring new ones. For example, our retail customers are using it to allow their users to shop in a new and different way. Now the user can upload a picture or a brief description of the product they're looking for. It's also being used by our bioscience customers to do pattern matching on everything from bacterial genomes to facial recognition. Let's go one step further by combining the power of AI vector search with the strength of large language models like ChatGPT. Typically, a large language model generates responses based solely on the information it was trained on. However, AI vector search can augment large language models by retrieving detailed, often private content needed to answer your business questions. We call this retrieval augmented generation or RAG. Let's take a look at an example of how this works with the chatbot that's being powered by Oracle AI vector search running over on Google Cloud. In this solution, we will showcase how to deploy RAG-based chatbot on Google Cloud Platform, powered by Oracle Database 23 AI. We have created the streamlit front-end that is running on GCP and interacts with Oracle Database at Google Cloud. Together with Vertex AI, it creates responses based on the vectorized data. Let's create an email articulating the benefits of the free tier. Below the response, we can see the references used to generate this response. This is just a glimpse of what's possible with RAG-based chatbot powered by Oracle Database 23 AI on Google Cloud Platform. Here is how it works. When a user asks a question, the system retrieves the most relevant documents or data points using vector searches. Then it uses generative AI to craft a coherent, contextually accurate response. This makes the chatbot highly effective and precise. Let's ask it a basic question about the free tier. I know that this answer is not correct, so let's update our source FAQ data. Then let's reload our data and run the same query again. Now the data is queried correctly. This solution covers all the steps from subscribing to Oracle Autonomous Database on GCP to deploying a streamlit front-end, including creating the vectors at ingestion time and how to use the new 23AI SQL vector distance capabilities at retrieval time. And importantly, by using RAG, this solution is far more cost-effective than fine-tuning, allowing you to update information simply by changing the source data in your Oracle database. So as we've seen, AI Vector Search is opening up a world of new possibilities. And because it's seamlessly integrated into the Oracle database, every mission critical feature of the database will work transparently with AI Vector Search. So if you want to scale out your environment, you can do that using our real application clusters or rack, or even in a sharded architecture. 
You can also make sure that your vector search is completely secure by leveraging Oracle's industry-leading security capabilities. This allows AI vector search to be used immediately in all enterprise applications, regardless of their scale or criticality. But I want to move on now and talk about one of my favorite things about AI and how it's opening up the world of data and data analytics to non-technical users by allowing them to talk to the database using natural language. Oracle Select AI allows you to use the standard select statement followed by the keyword AI to ask your database any natural language question. The database leverages an LLM of your choice to translate the question into a SQL command and automatically execute it for you. You can also have Select AI show you the SQL statement it's created so that you can verify it's performing exactly as you asked. Let's take a closer look at how Select AI works. To use Select AI, you need to create an AI profile. That profile will capture the properties or metadata about the tables and views you want to enable for natural language queries. When a user asks a question, we augment that question with the AI profile. And this is going to produce the prompt that we're going to send to the LLM. The prompt now has the metadata about the tables the user is asking questions on. The prompt is then sent to the LLM via a REST API call. Using the metadata information, the LLM generates the SQL to answer the user's question. The SQL is then sent back to the database where it's automatically executed and the results are shown to the user. But rather than listening to me describe Select AI, let's take a look at it in action. It has never been easier to get answers to business questions. Autonomous database with its built-in Select AI lets you use natural language to query your organization's data. You don't need to know where and how your data is stored to get answers. Select AI manages the entire query process, using large language models to translate natural language to SQL. Here, we're an analyst for MovieStream and are asking lots of questions about what's popular on our service using a chat app that was built using Apex, Autonomous Database's low-code development tool. It's just like getting answers from a coworker, and it's safe. Your data is secured using Oracle's advanced security, regardless of how it's accessed. Here, we're looking at salaries for our executives. Let's say that access were revoked. Even if you say please, you won't be able to access the data. What's great, it's the perfect way to ask questions when you're on the go. Just pull out your phone, ask your question, and get your answer. What are the most popular devices used to watch action and adventure movies? It's simple to develop natural language apps with autonomous database, and it's future-proof. Large language models are used to translate natural language to Oracle SQL. As you've seen, Oracle Database 23 AI is packed full of new capabilities to simplify your path to innovation and AI. AI Vector Search allows you to seamlessly combine semantic search with value-based searches on your business data. Select AI and our full RAG pipeline support allow you to chat with your database either directly or through an intelligent agent or chatbot. Thanks for joining me today. What I've shared today is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can expect from 23AI. We have lots of ways for you to experience all of these game-changing technologies firsthand. Here are just a few ways to access everything I've described today for free.